So we chose recalibration as the theme for this issue of the energy industry update because the industry is facing levels of change that are unprecedented in the years that I've been working in it. And the intensity of that change is increasing all the time. Because of all the change in the industry, we have to recalibrate the way we think about it. That's what the CIU is about. Some of the big questions that people have around power purchase agreements or PPAs is what are the drivers that push companies to sign them and how do they actually work? There's a number of motivations that companies have to sign corporate PPAs. Some will sign them to meet renewable energy or climate goals. Others are interested in reducing volatility in their energy costs. There's really two different ways corporate renewable PPAs work. A sleeve PPA is a contract between a renewable energy developer and a corporate buyer. And in the end, the electricity is delivered all the way to the end customer. A synthetic PPA is different in that it doesn't actually deliver the electricity to the end customer, but the corporate buyer provides a floor price for the electricity produced by the renewable energy developer. Corporate renewable PPAs are growing and many folks have questions about how they're structured. In this issue of the EIU, we answer these questions and many more. As utilities look into procuring battery storage, there's a lot of questions that crop up having to do with the wide variety of applications that energy storage can perform and the wide variety of technologies that are out there. Uh, the adoption of energy storage is really taking off at a tremendous pace, driven primarily by uh, the low cost of batteries. So as battery costs decrease, the benefits that batteries can provide to the potential utility uh, become better and better. Uh, the benefits relative to the cost of that system continue to go up as the costs go down. In this edition of the EIU, we answer some of those questions and convey some of our experience and how we're helping our clients navigate those challenging procurement processes. You know, with the EPA's recent announcement of changes to the Clean Power Plan, there are lots of questions. Lots of change, lots of turmoil, and we'll have the latest information available in this edition of the EIU. Well, I think people are going to learn what the Clean Power Plan is, what the next steps are, and what cities and states are doing uh, to address greenhouse gas emissions. Well, many states and cities aren't waiting to see the outcome of the Clean Power Plan proceedings. They're pushing ahead with their own reforms for greenhouse gas emissions. And you'll see a lot of detail around what certain cities and states are doing in this latest edition of the EIU. Scott Madden's uniquely positioned to help our clients with these issues because we have been doing it for 35 years. And as such, we have seen these trends come and go, and we can help you distinguish what is a trend that will fundamentally affect your business versus what is that bright, shiny object that's getting a lot of attention, but over time may not matter. Mm -hmm.